Good morning, everyone. My name is Rogelio Q. Shaw, Jr. I'm a Teacher 1 applicant for Technology and Livelihood Education. And for today, my demonstration teaching is all about computer hardware and servicing, primarily deals on the creation of a straight-through LAN cable. Okay, good morning, everyone. Okay, good morning. Um, before we start on our activity for today, uh, Mr. Jan, the president of our class, kindly lead us with our prayer for this morning. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Jan. And also the leader of each group, kindly check your classmates, your members for each group for their attendance today. Also, class, please chat your names here in our chat so that I can um, follow your attendance later on or record your attendance later on. Okay, class, before we proceed on our new lesson for today, so let us recall first the activity that we have last time. So we talked about the online computer networks. Okay, can you still remember our activity? Okay, very good. So the online computer networks are basically done when there are two computers that are interconnected to each other where they can share uh, their resources and electronically and they can transfer uh, their data electronically. Okay, so we also discussed that there are two types of our computer networks, which is the peer-to-peer -peer network and the client-server network. Can you guess what is the difference between the client-server and the peer-to-peer -peer network? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rita, for that answer. So as you remember, class, the peer-to-peer -peer network is done when there are two computers that are interconnected to each other and they are sharing the same resources. For example, uh, the printers and the disk drives are, are connected to each other. While on the client-server network, uh, this uh, contains much more uh, computer where they have their own servers where they can access the data or they can transfer the data. Okay, so for today class, let me share to you my presentation. And we're going to study for today about our new lesson about cabling. Okay, so before we go on our activity for today, I have here an important question for you. Do you experience interruption when you, use, when you are using devices that are not directly connected to the modem or router? Some of you would like to raise their hand. Okay, thank you very much. So sometimes we have experienced um, this uh, situation wherein we are connected to the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is too slow. Okay, so remember there are two types of connection. We have wireless connection and we have wired connection. And later on, we're going to discuss on what would be the difference between the two and how do you get a faster connection uh, to your computer and to your internet. But before that, I have a question for you. Do you play internet? Games? Okay, very good. How many of you here are, are playing computer games? Okay, very good. So I have here a question for you. So this will be our game. Kindly chat your answers. So can you guess the title of the following online games based on the picture of their characters? Are you ready? So if you know the answers, kindly type your answers in our chat, okay? So number one, what is this one? Very good, this is a PUBG character. This one? Okay, this is a Mobile Legends character. How about this one? Minecraft, very good. This one? This is Call of Duty. And finally, this one? This is what they called? Okay, this is what they called a Genshin Impact. So very good class. So I know that you are familiar with uh, the following characters because on our free time, we used to play games uh, or we use these games for our entertainment purpose, okay? And I have a question for you here. What do you think is the similarity of each game? Yes, uh, Eric. Okay, very good. So they are all types of uh, online games. So how do you think we are able to connect with other players in the game? Um, Mateo. Okay, very good answer, Mateo. So we are connected using our internet. And you have to sign in to a specific uh, network for you to be able to join that game. So now my question is, what are the factors that will help you win the game? Yes, Mary. 
Okay, very good, Mary. So one important factor is our teamwork. How about the others? How about the connection? Yes, Dia. Okay, very good, Dia. So we are also uh, the factors. One factor is also the our connection in our internet. So we have to make sure, class, that our internet is connected properly, uh, either wired or wirelessly. Okay, but uh, for you to be able to uh, access your game properly, so it will not lag, it's much better to have a wired connection. Okay? When we have our wired connection directly to our modem and to our devices, uh, it's much faster connectivity. And that is the reason why we have our lesson for today. Because for today, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to create a straight to LAN cable which is we're going to use this one for us to uh, connect our computers to our modems for faster connection. Okay? So our topic for today is a LAN cabling about the straight-through LAN cable. So first, let us discuss how does it work. So what is a straight-through LAN cable? Okay? So these are the important things that we need to identify first before we create a straight-through LAN cable. Number one, we need to have our UTP cable or unshielded twisted pair cable. So this is used as the most common cabling infrastructure for our Ethernet. Okay. And this uh, cable is used uh, for connecting our devices to the switch or to our, to our router. We also need to have our crimping tool. So our crimping tool is a device that used to conjoin two pieces of metal by deforming one or both of them in a way that causes them to hold to each other. So later on, I'm going to demonstrate on how to use the following materials, okay? So I want you to listen carefully, list down the important aspects of our lesson, and then later on, we can ask our questions after our discussion, okay? So next one, we have our what we call RJ45 or register jack 45. So this one is the one that we connect to our UTP cable, to the end of our UTP cable. And then this one is also used to connect it, this one, it to our router. So it has an eight wire connector that is used to, to our computers, okay? So later on, we're going to demonstrate on how to use that one. We also have our LAN tester. Uh, after you have made your cable, or if you're done making your UTP cable, straight through LAN cable, we need to test it out if it's working properly. And the device that will help you uh, to do that is our LAN tester, okay? Or local area network tester. So it verifies whether the connection or the wires that you have created in your, in your uh, straight through LAN cable is working properly. So now, these are the important uh, definitions also that you need to know. So LAN cabling is the process of creating cable to create a network that interconnects our computer. So basically, the straight through LAN cable, we connect it this one to, the, to our Ethernet port and we connect this one to our modem for us to connect to our internet. So you can also use this one to connect with your other devices such as a printer, for example. So crimp system class is the design to compact the wires, trans together. It's basically we're just uh, going to fix the uh, location of our wire so it will not be loose with when, once we connect this one to our RJ45. And the thing that we're going to use today is what we call the T568B straight through connection. So it is used to connect computers to a network or to the device such as our router. So there are different types of um, cabling system class. But for today, we're going to focus on how to create a T568B uh, wiring pattern for our computer. So I want you to listen carefully to the steps that we have. So number one, there are nine steps that we need to follow for this one. So number one is you need to have your UTP cable. So strip off the length of our cable sheet and measure at least 1.5 inches from the tip of your cable, okay? So you use our wire stripper there to cut the wires properly. The next one, after you cut the wire, the 
excessive part of your UTP cable. So you need to sort out the wire according to the T568P pattern. So you need to uh, disassemble this one. You need to sort out these wires and you need to arrange that one to the T568B wiring. So what is that pattern for that wiring? So this is the pattern for this one. So we have, let me annotate this one. Okay, so this is our pattern that we need to follow. So we need our, uh, our color for the wires. So we have white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, and brown. Okay, so these are the these are the pattern that we need to follow. Remember, you need to uh, follow this pattern carefully. Otherwise, our LAN cable will not work properly. Okay, so again, so this is our pattern. So that is the color pattern that you need to follow. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. So later on class, I'm going to have uh, this for you. I will show you this one to our steps uh, for you to be able to follow the correct wiring uh, guidelines for our land cable, land cable. Okay, so once what we have arranged already the wires in our land cable, all you have to do is to cut the excessive length of our wire. So again, we need to trim the wires using our crimping tool. As you can see, our crimping tool has its own cutting uh, materials here. So you use that one to cut. It's just like a plies where you're going to cut the wires, the excessive part of our wire. So maybe you're asking, sir, but we need, why do we need to cut the excessive wire? So because we need to put our wires inside our RJ45 connector. So this is our RJ45 connector class. So you need to insert your wires properly. Make sure that it is flattened out properly and you need to connect it to your RJ45 plug. Okay? So once we are connected with our RJ45 plug, what you need to do class is you need to maintain the wire order. Again, that is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. To maintain the order, from left to right. So you start from your left to your right. So you start from this side up to this one. So following the T568B pattern, yun yung color pattern that we have discussed earlier. Okay? So make sure that you have put this one to your connectors properly and make sure that the wires are touching the copper areas of your RJ45 plug. Okay? To make sure that it will work properly. And step number seven, so for the RJ45 not be loose once we connect this one to our computer, so we need to lock our RJ45 together with the wire. So we need to use our crimping tool to lock this one out. And finally, after you're done, you need to verify the wires if it's correct, making sure that the uh, contacts of the RJ45 are touching your wires. And finally, class, Step number nine, once you are done verifying your wires that are connected properly to your RJ45, we need to test it out. So how do you know that if your, your wire is working properly? Okay, well, you need to have your LAN tester and then you need to put the two ends of your wire to the LAN tester, which is this one. And then as you can see, uh, you, once you open the LAN tester, the lights here in the left side and on the right side must light up simultaneously. Meaning if the indicator lights up on this uh, first one, so it will also light up here on the first side of your LAN tester. So this, um, they must uh, follow a series of light up from the number one to the number eight. So if one of your wires is not connected properly to the RJ45, it will not detect it here. It will not light up to your LAN tester. So you have to make sure that the RJ45 is touching uh, properly. The, the contacts on your RJ45 is touching properly to the wires that you connected with your, using your UTP cable. Okay, class. So let me clear this one. Let me clear the wire drawings here. 
And I'm going to show you now on how to create our um, straight through LAN cable. So I have prepared here a video presentation. So I, have, I want you to listen carefully to our presentation and then later on we can ask our question and answer regarding the video that we have discussed. Good morning everyone, this is Teacher Reggie and for today I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to create a straight through LAN cable. So before we start on doing our activity, make sure to follow our safety measure. Number one, avoid horse playing. Number two, use our tool properly. Number three, always pay attention to our task. And finally, always be vigilant. So before we start on our activity, let us enumerate first the equipment that we're going to use for this activity. Number one, we need our UTP cable or unshielded twisted pair cable. Second. We need our RJ45 connector. Third, we need our wire stripper. Fourth, we can use our scissors. Fifth, we need to use our crimping tool. And finally, we need to use our LAN tester. So let's start now with our activity. First, get our UTP cable and our wire stripper. So you use our wire stripper to carefully remove the outer jacket of our LAN cable. So measure at least 1.5 inches from the tip of your cable and then use your wire stripper to cut the outer jacket of your cable. So you can see there is an excessive wire here so we're going to cut this one. So after that, we're going to untwist the pair of our wires here and then we're going to arrange our wire according to the T568B wiring. Okay, after that, we're going to cut this excessive plastic to arrange our wire. Then we're going to arrange now according to the pattern of T568B wiring. So first is white orange, next will be orange, next would be white green, next would be blue, next would be white blue, next would be color green, next would be white brown, and finally color brown. So after you arrange our wires and you have plattened it out, we need to put this one now in our RJ connector. So what we're going to do here is we need to put this wire in our RJ connector. So we have to cut the excessive part of our wire to be able to connect it in our RJ45. So for you to be able to cut the wire, we're going to use our crimping tool. So our crimping tool has its wire cutter here. So we're going to use this one to cut the wires. So next step, after you have cut the excessive wire here, we can use now our RJ45 cable, so reverse this one. And we're going to put our wires here inside the RJ45. Just make sure that the end of your wires are touching the coppers here in your RJ45. So let's put this one here. So after you put the wires inside the RJ45, what we're going to do is we need to lock this one so it will not be loose when we put this one in our modem or computer. So use our crimping tool, the top portion. We have here our crimping tool. So put your RJ45 45 here and make sure to lock it properly. You will hear a sound if you put the lock on it. Okay, so after we're done with the first end of our cable, we're just going to repeat the steps to the other end of our cable here.
So after we have finished making our LAN cable here, we're going to test it out if it's working properly. So I have here a LAN tester. What we're going to do is we're going to put the first end of our wire here and the second end on the other side. So put our LAN cable on the first end and on the other end of our LAN tester. And let's turn it on if it's working. As you can see here, our light in our LAN tester light up simultaneously to each other from number 1 to number 8. Meaning that our cable is working properly. Okay, so now that we have finished making our LAN cable, it's now time for you to test your skill by creating your LAN cable on your own. Okay, so did you listen to our video class? Okay, thank you very much. So re always remember class that our straight through LAN cable can be used to connect our devices to our modems, to our computers or printers. And you can connect this one to our switch hub, uh, the straight through LAN cable. Okay, so if you listen carefully to our video, I am going to ask you some of the question. So let me share my screen and let's go now with our uh, wheel picker name uh, selector here. And then let's try if you can answer the following question. So let's start. Let's call on Christop Mary. Okay, Mary. Okay, Mary, your question is this one. What are the safety measures we need to follow when we are using our land cabling? Okay, very good. So those two are the four steps that you need to follow. Very good, class. So how about another question? Let's call on Fatima. Okay, Fatima. Okay, your question, Fatima, is this one. What are the steps in creating a straight through land cable described in the video? Okay, so we have discussed the nine steps. It's okay if you don't remember those nine steps. Later on, I'm going to show you the steps once you are going to create your own um, straight through land cable. Okay, so make sure to follow those steps properly. Thank you very much, Fatima. Another question. Let's call on. John. Okay, John. Your question, John, is what is the correct color coding pattern for the T568B wiring? Okay, thank you very much, John. So that is a white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown. Okay, very good. And last question, class. Let's call on Beatrice. Okay, Beatrice. The question is, what could be the problem if the light indicator in the LAN tester doesn't light up simultaneously? Okay, very good observation. So if the light up in our LAN tester doesn't light up simultaneously, maybe the wires are not connected properly to the RJ45 uh, connector or plug. So you have to be very careful once you are putting the wires inside the RJ45. Okay, class, very good. Thank you very much for your observation and thank you very much for your answers. Okay, class, so now that we are done with our video, so it's time for you to test your skill, but we don't have any resources right now that uh, let's us uh, use our LAN cable. So I let you download this application called the Ethernet Cable Terminator Terminator. So this one, it also follows the same procedure on how you can create a straight through LAN cable. So for example, we have here this one. Of course, you need your wire. You need to cut your wire properly. You need to sort out your wire according to the T568P wiring pattern. After that one, you need to Test out your wires if it's working properly. So you need to use your crimping tool class. Let me share your, my screen. Okay, so this one, you need to use your RJ45 to lock the, the wires there. And you need to use your crimping tool. You can find the, the icon on the right side of your uh, application and test it out if it's a straight through LAN cable. 
Okay? So you will be graded class according to the following rubrics that we have. So this is our rubrics. Okay, so this is the rubrics that we need to follow class. You will be graded according to this one. So I will divide you now to your specific group. So I will create a breakout room now. And please help your classmate for those who have difficulties following our steps. Okay, so let me display to you the steps in our straight roulette cable. Okay, are you everybody done? Okay, thank you very much class. So for your assignment class, I want you to answer the following question. So what are the structured cabling system? And identify the described elements that are recommended for structured cabling system. So kindly attach your answers in our Google Classroom. So let me share my screen. So you have to submit your answer to our Google Classroom class. So in our Google Class on this one. So this is your section, Diamond. So I have here attached our assignment. Kindly comment down your answers. Okay, so that's all for today, class. I will see you again next week for our next activity in our computer class. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.